I'm going to show you how to make a quicker question in InnerWrite Workspace. First, you need to have the software open and a blank page. After you have your blank page, you need to add the content for your question to the page. I'm using a text box to type out my question, but you could also use one of the pens to just write it on the board. Um, you could also use the free hand to text option as well. Um, I find that the text box ends up looking really neat for the student. <clears throat> and depending on the question type, you'll also need to go ahead and add your um, multiple choice options or true false options as well. Once your question content is on the page, you will select the clicker icon from the toolbar and you select the option create question. This pop out window is how you tell the software what question is on the page. So I'm going to select multiple choice that it's a four part response and I'm going to tell it the correct answer and hit OK. When you're ready to give this question to the class, you need to make sure that your clicker dongle is in your laptop. You'll go back to the clicker question and tell it, ask question. Then you're going to wait for another window to occur. And this is how you're going to title your uh, response with your students for report. So I'm going to go ahead and give this clicker session a title and I'm going to select my class. You should already have your classes in your database set up. So if you need help with that, please look at that video as well. So once you're ready to begin asking this question, your content deliver bar will come up and students will need to make sure their clickers are powered on and then they can answer the question. You have the ability to set a timer if you wish, um, or you don't have to. Once students have responded to the question, you will hit the end button. It was located right next to the start button. And your content deliver bar will change, and a graph will appear uh, showing how students did for that particular question. You can change the response if you wrote down the wrong response in the original pop-out window or if uh, you didn't put a response at all. And that is how you do a clicker question in InnerWrite Workspace.